I ever had to do was go and level up, level up, level up, level up. Sky's the limit, numbers up, numbers up, numbers up. For my family, for my life, for my kids and for my wife. I level up, level up, level up, level up. Let's get to work, 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 work. Here we are, guys. Episode five. Episode five. Guys, I'm here today with Sean Pollard. Sean Pollard's been a coach with me for over a year now, right, guys? We're shooting this, I think, in about May. We're about at the end of April. It's April 30th, so we'll just say it's May 1. We're shooting this. I'm with Sean Pollard, the automotive monster. What's going on, my brothers and sisters? This is Sean Pollard, the automotive monster. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm pumped to be here. I'm pumped to serve you at the highest level. Let's unlock and unleash the monster. Guys, listen, let me tell you a little bit about Sean, but I'm going to tell you what this is about, okay? So I want you to understand this. It's about crushing and beating mediocrity. Mediocrity is one of the things that I see people fall into, entitlement. I see it every single day. The market's hot right now. Mm -hmm. It's hotter than it's ever been, okay? If you're not killing it right now, you need to look in the mirror. You got a problem. You got a hole. You've got something. Don't blame it on anything, Fix it, train hard, and kill it. But I want to talk about something. I'm here today with Sean, and I want to talk about beating mediocrity. Mm -hmm. Beating mediocrity means crushing being average. Dude, the word average makes me sick. It does. It makes me sick. Look, there's hot and there's cold. Lukewarm makes me want to spit you out my mouth, okay? Look, make the choice. Be great or don't. I know you guys want to be great. That's why you're watching this. You're wanting to level up, and you're wanting to crush and beat mediocrity. Now, when I say this to you, right now, in May, we'll say it's May 1, Mm -hmm. the market is up 160% since last year. Now, let's think about it. Did I say the sales are up 160%? Yeah, they're up, but the market is up. Yeah. So do you know what that means across the board? If the market's up 160% since last May, let me ask you a question. How'd you do last April? If a guy sold 12 cars last April, he was a 12-car hand, that's what he sold. How many did he sell this April? Let's say he sold 18 cars. Well, your the average. deal is, is that your average? Yeah, you sold 12 last April. Yeah. You're selling 18 now, but the market's up 160%. Let me ask you a question. Are you up 161%? That's the question. So what I want to do is I want to let you know that right now, there's a lot of people that are hitting higher numbers who are average. And what you got to look at, what did you do last year? So what I want to know is are you up 161%? How do you beat mediocrity? How do you not get that winning mentality in you that makes you think, hey, man, I made it? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of people commonly ask, and I'm going to let Sean talk here in a second. And Sean Pollard is is the automotive monster. And the reason why we call Sean that, Sean is about mindset, okay? When I took Sean on in in, in our coaching space, Mm -hmm. here's the deal. You know, Sean was a a GM. You know, he was running stores. He was a top performer in the sales industry. He loved changing people's lives. But Sean, when I took him on, he flew out, came to a master closer seminar, said, hey, man, I want to crush it, kill it, level up, get better at my skill, came in, met all the whole team, saw everything that was going on, and said, my God, man, how do I get involved with changing people's life like this? Now, the first thing I said is I said, hey, well, number one, you got to change your life. Yeah, that was a huge aspect of it. Yeah, and guess what, man? We went through hell and back. We did, yeah. Yeah, and guess what? And now you're looking at him over here, and guess what? Everything in his life has changed 360. Look, mm-hmm. skill up a million percent, okay? Marriage, a million percent up. Mm-hmm. Father, up a million percent. He's got three kids. Man, everything is up. Believability, the way that he sees his life, his perspective, the way he thinks when he wakes up, everything. His health, we talk about it all the time. But crushing mediocrity is one of the biggest things ever. Right now, you got to decide, man. You're either going to make a choice right now to never be average in your life, never, okay, and fight like hell until the day you die. Look, your life is really simple, okay? If you put weeds in your brain, your brain's going to think like it's got weeds in it. What are you feeding yourself? What's your diet? Is your diet every single day you're waking up and you're in your, and my mentors in life are people that have gone where I want to go. The people that I look up to are people that break the barrier every single month. Every month, they're like, hey, man, 
I did this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come back down off the mountain. They push their rock back down the mountain. They don't let it sit up there. And they go push it back up a bigger one. Mm -hmm. And they do it every month. And guess what? It's the grind life. Yeah. They got the lifestyle they want. Mm -hmm. You don't ever hear them complaining. Do you ever hear a person complaining that constantly is chasing greatness? No, not at all. They don't no. have time for it. Yeah, they don't have time for it. And their perspective is totally different. Mm -hmm. When they wake up, they're not looking for easy. They're looking for hard. What they do is they're efficient. Mm -hmm. They don't run around and be busy all day long. A lot of people that are, that are in the, I would say, mediocre space, the reason why they're I would say like having trouble finding out who they want to be in their head is because they're busy in their phone. Either your phone's a tool or you're the tool. And what happens is they've become a tool to just junk. And what happens is that because that space in your head has gotten taken over, you don't even know who you are anymore. Yeah. And like I told mm -hmm. Sean, the first thing we got to do is declutter. So if you're listening to this right now, I'm going to hand it over to Sean. Sean, what has changed your life? What are some things that, you know, went into place? If somebody's out there right now, salesman, saleswoman, maybe somebody that just clicked on the video or on the podcast and they're listening to it and they're like, you know, hey, man, you know, what are these guys about? What does beating mediocrity mean? What does that mean to you? Well, for me, it was when I met you, uh, the operational system that you play on. Okay, I couldn't believe that you were at a high level with your wife high level with your children. You and I are the same age, but you're worth millions and I'm worth a couple hundred thousand. So that really resonated with me. Like, how did you do it? What was it like? And then to get to know you at a personal level. See, I have this operating system I've been playing on. And every time I went up to this higher level, it's an upper limit I would hit and I'd self-sabotage and go back down to my normal operating system. And I did that for you know 15 years running stores and I couldn't understand why I couldn't break past the barrier. Well, there's no one around me that was doing anything at a higher level. I had thought I'd hit this peak state, and I thought it was normal not to be, you know, home for dinner. And, you know, this is a car automotive life, you know. Instead of skilling up, closing at a higher level, uh, being able to do more with the same amount of time because I'm running at a higher operating system and pushing myself to level up every day. No, I was surrounded by mediocrity, and I didn't even know it. But we were making to a quarter million, $300,000 a year. We're thinking we're doing big level things. Well, then I fly out to see you. I find you November 19. I'll never forget it. I paid for Grant Cardone, uh, Joe Verdi's platform. I had all my guys training on it. I've always been a huge component of training. And I see you November 19. I'm like, who is this man? Yeah, this guy's got something going on, but I need to know, is he real? Is this real substance? And that's what made me reach out. I called you. I wanted to know what you were all about. Well, then the history is made. I flew out, and I realized, wow, this is a this is different level. You have it going on personally with your children, with your wife, the way you communicate with your wife, the whole thing that I had you know, been missing made sense. And then about a week later, you told something to me. You said, Sean, if you continue living this way, you are gonna die and not play all your music. And is that who God wanted you to be? Is that your creator, your, your, the universe? Whatever you believe, is that what you want? And I said, no, man. So what do we do? He goes, you, gotta ch you said, you gotta change your normal operating system. You have to scale and as you scale, you have to keep scaling and never self-sabotage to go back to what you believe is your normal operating system. When you told me that, the journey began. I started running. I started reading psychology on how to break down the mind, how to peel back the layers. And I found it was something in my past I was holding on to. And it kept me playing small because I was scared of success at a higher level. And that really was, I mean, we can go all, I mean, into this for the next three hours of the journey that I've been on with you over the last year with my mind. But... Um, you really have to own it. And you have to look in the mirror, forgive yourself. You're not broken. And you told me it's okay to be angry, but you need to control that anger and you need to unleash the monster. And I just ran with it for the last year, man. It's I love special. it. Guys, listen, number one, y'all got the same 24 hours a day, okay? Yeah. So if someone else got what you don't have, you can get it. You need to know that, but you got to figure out how to get it. You got to get around people that got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right? So we said that, you know, you got to be around people. And by the way, you guys can always reach out to us at any time. I just mm -hmm. want to say this, and it's cool to say this. Um, two things. Number one, automotive monster, Sean Pollard. This guy's the real deal all the way around. He trains hundreds of thousands of salespeople under the Elliott Group platform with me. And every single day, sales pros, men and women, men and women, and husbands and wives well, reach it's out. involved now, yeah. Yeah, they reach out and they say, hey, you know, Sean, I need help with this. Can you give them the number they can reach out to you? Absolutely. Can you do that real yeah, quick? I want is, you guys to write this down. This is my do me personal a favor. cell phone. 
Yeah, yeah. Shoot Sean a text. Shoot him a text real quick and say, hey, Sean, I want to talk to you for a minute about mindset, mediocrity. Um, Hey, I want to talk about what you said when you said self-sabotage. Yeah. I'm sure we can all understand what the heck that means. That's when things are going really well and they're almost going too good. Yeah. And you think, man, something's going to mess this up. Well, you hit that. It's a normal operating system. We, we play out a normal, you and I, we play out a normal operating system that's higher than other men and women. Can they get there? Yes. I, my normal operating system is lower than yours because I'm chasing you right now. And that's real to me. I'm chasing you to beat you. And that's my goal every day is to beat you, level up, take over your company. I mean, I'm just real. I, mean, I love it. I have goals bigger than, I mean, normal people are like, dude, you're crazy. It ain't going to happen. But that's what I live at now. Before when I met you, I was 205 pounds, out of shape, couldn't run to the mailbox from back. You remember how pathetic that was? Yeah, I remember. And you're like, bro. Stop. I made Sean throw up every day in the front yard. It was, it was, uh, it was ridiculous. You know, you, 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 what you wanted me to do, I think you wanted me to quit and not come back. Yeah, I was dying for you, know, you to quit. I think you were pushing. So um, as we grow in scale, a lot of men and women ask me, like, dude, you're not lecturing. No, I want to teach you from my stupidity. 20 years in the car business, 23 years in marriage. I kind of have a thing or two going on. I've messed up at a high level. I brought it back a couple times. I've been through massive amounts of adversity and pain, and I've grown and become um, what I want to call bulletproof as I scale to a higher level. See, there's a lot of great men and women in this world living shitty lives. That's a choice. That's a choice. you got to stop That's making the damn truth. Choices. Did you hear that? And by the way, let me ask you this. Can every single person out there right now go get the life they want 100%? Without fail. What you have to do, hey, give me your number real quick. They can yeah, text you. It's uh, 480-780-1017. 480-780-1017. That's my new Arizona number. Yeah, guys, we're in Scottsdale, Arizona. Mm-hmm. We're here in our conference room. We got the Master Closer Seminar coming up next week. Not even going to talk about that. Oh, we baby. cover mindset in it hard, but here's yeah. the idea is that as I'm here today with Sean Pollard, one of my head coaches, we got 20 guys that work for me at this point. Every single one of them, every single one of them is more passionate than any person I've ever met in my life. Yeah. And that's our goal with you. That's our goal with you is that, look, turn your pain into passion. That's it. If you can turn your pain into passion, which means where you were, it's not about who you are, it's about who you're becoming. What got you here won't get you there. Wherever you're at right now, if you want to go to that next level, you have got to decide that failure is not an option. Mm-hmm. Dude, failure is something that comes into your life. It's something that comes into your life that teaches you lessons. But there's a difference between learning and growing. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to tell you, man, I know a lot of people that have learned from lessons, but they didn't grow from lessons. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 100%, yeah. Okay. Like, and make the same mistake again. Hey, did you learn your lesson? Again. Yeah, I learned my lesson. No. Mm-hmm. Did you grow from your lesson? Mm-hmm. That's the key word, okay? So what happens is that, like Sean said, going back, self-sabotaging, it's, a, it's, a, it's an operating machine. How high are you operating at? By, by the way, how high is your threshold mm-hmm. right to pain before you crack? That's a big deal. A lot of people ask, well, hey, why do you train so hard? You know, we train physically very hard at 41 years old. We're both 41. We train very hard. We run five to seven miles a day. We work out like heck. We work 18 hours a day. I mean, hell, look at him. Right here, he detached his bicep. Damn it. I told him, man, only I can curl 80-pound dumbbells. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. That's a joke. No, but the deal is is that, look, um, it's the idea that, look, we're 41, but we run like we got 16 years old of energy. Uh, and I want to tell you this, whoever you are. Market. We're yeah. coming for the market. We are very disciplined in our approach. And a lot of people, they go through life and they want to be harmless. You know, there's, there's no virtue in being harmless. You're, live, I mean, live dangerously, am I right? You have to. And you have to, I, when we say unlock the monster, not to be monstrous, right, but to live with virtue. Because if you're a monster, nothing will attack a monster. But if you're living harmlessly, the only thing living harmlessly are like little rabbits and they'll get eaten. And you have to have a perspective in life that of what you want, and a monster can protect that mentality to help you protect your family, mm-hmm. your career, your vision, your goal, and you attack, and you attack relentlessly. And the hardest part that I'm, with the coaching I do now with the men and women at a higher level, the biggest thing is they care too much about what other people think. Ooh. That's holding them back. What do we say about that? It's holding them back. Well, it was a heartbreak. I had to cut out a lot of people. They cut me out when I moved in, uh, moved to Oklahoma you know, for this opportunity, you know, I was, I'm trying to better my life, but my closest of friends walked out. I couldn't understand why. And you're like, man, this is part of it. So um, as you grow and scale, you know, detach from what's not real. 
And some people won't go along with that journey as you scale. Hey, did you hear what he said? He said, detach from what's not real. Mm -hmm. Okay? I think everybody needs to write that down. If we had, like, a little button we could hit, that would be like... <laughs> That's a good one. You yeah, have that to. Would be, that would be a detach from what's not real. And I want to tell you this. One of the realest things in the world is what we've created. A lot of people mm -hmm. ask, how does our training program grow so fast? How are we training, you know, within a year and a half, two years, 160,000 salespeople and traveling 10,000 new people a week? How is it even possible? Well, it's very easy. It's real. It's real. It's real. That's it. I mean, look, at the end of the day, real results, authentic, being real. You know, we don't care about money. We never cared about money. We shot YouTube videos for two years for free, straight, mm -hmm. just to show people there was a better version of themselves. We didn't say, hey, I got a course. Come check it out. If you want to become the best, watch this. If you don't, have a nice life. No, we said, hey, watch these videos. See if there's a better, a better version of yourself that you see. Can you unlock the person inside of you? Do you want to go to the next level? If you do, we've helped you make money off free training so mm -hmm. that you can literally go to the next level and get into the elite training. That's the idea of it. And I'm going to tell you this. Being average makes me sick. Being Yeah, it's bad. Listen. It's not good. And by the way, I want to talk about that threshold we were talking about with pain. Mm -hmm. Why do you go and get yourself around people that push you? Well, I mean, imagine this. If you were in the NFL, could you imagine the coaches that are training you in practice to play that big game? They don't care about your feelings. No. They do not care. They have one goal, to win the game. That's it. They want to win the game. That's the only thing that they care about. They want to win the game. So how do they push their players? Well, with they push them they like hell. They push them with everything they got. Push to break. That's it. Yeah, push to break. And guess what? Those big guys, those massive players that have always been the most talented people in the world and the hardest workers, they break on that field. But guess what? When they get in the game, they play the game effortlessly. You know what I mean? And what's the number one cent, uh, thing that they're talking about with the uh, NFL players, pro athletes? Their confidence and their mindset is the number one thing they pay for. Mm -hmm. They get these big contracts, they pay for their body, and they pay millions of dollars in coaching for their mind. Think That's about it. that. But we have automotive sales professionals making one hundred to four hundred thousand dollars a year that are training with us now that never thought that investing in themselves as they are the investment or protecting their mind to get better and recreate who they are every day. Because they just thought they just go along with the journey. See, a lot of us get into the automotive industry, make 80 grand and settle. Because you've never made that money before. Why aren't you investing? Every, everyone that I know in real estate, my attorney buddies, they all pay for training to become better. Why isn't it a standard in the automotive industry? Do you not think of yourselves as a CEO of a Fortune 500 company? Where, where's your mind at? Why do you get to 120 and stop? Because everybody's at 120. I think you say it best. You're surrounded by men and women that are benching 150 pounds, but you're built to build th uh, bench 300, and you're not. Why? Because you stopped your normal operating mm -hmm. system, and you don't know how to push past it anymore. And then when you have success, you're not out of void. So you go back down to the normal operating system where everybody's playing on because that's comfort. Because once you start hitting that upper limit, people start shooting arrows at you, and you come back down, and that's a shame. I want to eliminate that out of the industry. And that's why I call it the movement. And people laughed, and they're not laughing now. Yeah, that is the movement. And I want to tell mm -hmm. you this, and I mean this when I say this. Look, when you come off the bench and you decide to start playing the game, or if you're playing the game right now and you're maybe number one in your store, how about being number one in your state? How about being number one in the country? That's right? possible, yeah. You know I what I'm saying? That. Dude, when I was making 250 grand, I remember in my state, I was probably one of the top five earners, okay? Once I hit 350, I was the top one earner. Mm -hmm. And then I said, well, it looks like I'm not competing with my state anymore. And yeah. I said, let's go compete with the world. And at that time, I realized that, look, what got me here wouldn't get me there. And I had to really go in and train my mind. My mind keep wanted to throw me uh, these titles, right? Like entitlement, yeah. like, man, you're doing great. You're doing better than everybody else. You're doing this. And by the way, also, there was something inside me in the back of my head that kept saying, like you said, self-sabotage, like, mm -hmm. dude, you don't deserve this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I grew up and, poor. Yeah, yeah, and I mean it. And, and, I, and I, want to, I want to tell you this. Generational influence is more important than anything else to me and him than anything in the, mm -hmm. else in this world. And it means a legacy. It means being a legend. It means changing the family tree from the way things have been. And to me, if I was to die today, I don't care how much money you have in the bank, did you give all you got? If you were going to yeah. die today and you were sitting at your car and there was a car wreck and, you know, you knew you had 30 seconds to live before you were going to heaven. You say, man, did, dude, I, did, I, music? Yeah, did I give everything I have? Did I leave it all on the field? 
there's a pretty good damn chance that 99.9% of the people would have regrets. Yeah. That is scary. So I wanted to call this crushing mediocrity. It's not about sales skill. It's about mind skill. Mind skill is one of the strongest skills in the world, and it's not talked about enough. And I'm going to tell you this right now. You don't have to harden up your life, okay, and literally cut people out and not be loving. I'm one no, of the most. No, that'll happen on its own as you scale. Yeah. No, I'm just being real. Yeah, and I want to say this. We're one of the most loving people mm-hmm. in the world. If you've ever come to a Master Closer seminar and you've met me, one of the things you'll see, what do we do right out the gate? We hug, baby. Hug. We hug. Dude, seriously, man, we're not afraid of the coronavirus, man. We eat it for breakfast, okay? This we literally give. People. Yeah, we give people hugs constantly. You, know, you got to understand, we wait to meet you. You know, you, you yeah, invest been, in yourself. You're coming to a seminar here in the lion's den, and we wait to meet you. We can't wait to meet you. You're, you know, you're waiting to meet Andy. We're waiting to meet you. Yeah, you when know, you, you come in the door. You are a tribe. Yeah, when you, you come in the door, shit. you're like, uh, where's Andy? Bam! Bam! Andy's got you right there. I'm like, what up, big dog? Yeah. Hey, and by the way, that right there, it just shows we're just normal people who yeah, do extraordinary what, things. That's what I was born to do. Yeah, and uh, it's about how to be uncommon amongst uncommon people. Mm -hmm. That's really the magic deal. Well, how do you do it? Well, number one, you have to crush mediocrity. You have to. If you can't do that, you're not going to make it. Um, Mediocrity is huge. Uh, Being normal. Say the word average. Okay, where are you at since last year? That's a huge deal. Where are you at since last year? If you just got in the business, you've been in the business 30 years. And, hey, let me just say this. If you're burned out, If you're burned out, I want you to send this man a text message, okay? This is one of the biggest deals. One of the things that I've seen him do, which is just insane, is help people pull out a burnout like that. He does it every single day. It's insane. I'll give him the three steps real quick. Do you mind? Yeah. Okay, so first, the first thing, the most important thing is to have the strategy, but it's not the most important thing. And you taught me this because your strategy, when you take over stores, when they pay you to come aboard, you take over their stores for four or five days, and immediately they flip. You know the strategy, right? Uh-huh. You go in, you know the strategy, service part, sell service, CSI, wherever that type. Who's your player? You go take all those players, you put them in a room, your strategy begins. And then you work on their story. And then you work on their state. So strategy, story, state, those three. What are you telling yourself? What's your strategy? And what state are you in when you're doing it? And when I learned that from you, it was game over. It was about a year and what? Year, about a year ago, we really worked on that with me. Yep. And I take this shit very serious. You know, this is, this is my life. Your, your, your success is fuel for me. So change your strategy because your strategy is off if you're burnt out. Okay? And then the story you tell yourself. Mm-hmm. It better be a good one because that's going to become your reality and your state. You have to own this and be in a very powerful state every day. If you have to lie to yourself, lie to yourself and tell yourself a better story and change your state. When you master those three, and we can go in. I mean, you text me right now. It's deeper than that. But those three will get you started in the right direction. Yeah, and by the way, look, anybody who's watching this right now, if for one second, okay, you're trying to understand what this has to do with sales, it's very simple. Sales is a mind game. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you this. The mind, right, it's learned you. It's time to learn your mind. It's time to tell your mind to shut up, have a seat in the back, right? And guess what? You take back over your life. And that's how you beat mediocrity, okay? And anyways, um, with that being said, I want to do this one more time. Somebody watching this, I'm going to put his number up on the screen. Sean, give me your number one more time. 480. This is my new uh, Arizona number directly to me. Yeah, it means a lot for me, for you to be able to shoot him a text and for him to be able to help you. And that's all I care about is that at the end of the day, you know who you're supposed to be. If you're not playing at that level, well, it's real simple. Reach out. We'll get you there. Well, that's listen, it. I mean, you have voices in your head right now you need to be paying attention to that are screaming at you. Those voices are telling you what you need to be doing and start paying attention to it and do the work. You're going to suffer, okay? But impose suffering. Suffering that you do to yourself, stop it. Life is going to be suffering. We all know that. We're going to suffer. We're going to lose. We're going to have loss of loved ones. That's suffering you can, you, you can deal with. But when you're imposing, when you're implement, when you're putting suffering on yourself by bad decisions, addictions, drugs, alcohol, everything that we've seen our, our people go through, stop. You great people live in a shitty life. Bad choices. So change your choices. The imposed suffering needs to quit. And then the suffering totally. that life gives you, you can deal with because you're going to be prepared for the loss. Listen, are you prepared to lose a loved one? It's going to happen. If you're not, get your life together. Okay? Because it's going to happen. So now as you grow, you scale, you win, story, state, strategy, 
It becomes a beautiful thing. Life is a great thing when you have this under control. It's going to be hard. It's going to suffer. But when you got this together, it's a beautiful life you can create. And the lifestyle that comes with it is powerful. Yeah, I always tell, and, and, you know, and he said this a couple times, are you prepared, you know, for, to lose somebody? The reason why he says that is that could be, that's the ultimate loss in life. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. deal is, is that, look, as we all love our families and love people around us, it's just nobody gets to live forever. Mm -hmm. So what he's saying is that, look, I see a lot of people when something happens, they just fall apart and they lose 100%. everything. And if you're the man of your house or you're the woman of your house, it's your job to hold yourself together for your family. Yes. They need you more than ever. And that's the biggest part of what he's saying. And that's the reason why so many people crack is because something happens. It happened to me. And, and they fall apart. My son. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It just it changes everything. Yeah. Um, give him your number one more time, and then let's finish with one thing. Okay, it's 480-780-1017. 480-780-1017. Yeah, and what you can do, listen. So we do a mastermind. It's a weekly mastermind. I do coaching on Monday. Sean yeah. does coaching on Tuesday. The twins, Ian and Evan Macklin, they do coaching on Wednesday. There's actually a I'm program. Gonna flip that. Twins on Tuesday. Oh, yeah, Twin Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I forgot Twin about Tuesday, that. Twin Tuesday, Wild yeah. Wednesday. With the oh, boy, Wild the Wednesday. Mo automotive Sean. monster. Hey, we call Sean the automotive monster because he's created more monsters that, that I've ever seen in my life, and it's amazing. And by the way, the wives reach out to you every day which oh, is yeah. crazy, and they yeah. say, hey, thank you for bringing my man back home. Mm -hmm. And I mean that, dude. And if you don't know what that means, you text this man, he'll tell you what he means because literally he'll unleash the beast inside of you, okay? That person you're supposed to be. And if you're a woman watching this, I mean, hell, half the people you train are women. I trained a lot of women now because of they, they hear my wife's story in our, I mean, 23 years. We got together when we were 18 and 20 years in the auto industry. They're like, whoa, wait, what, like, what's that like? And I'm not an easy guy to deal with. You know that. I mean, my wife. Well, you're, my, he's obsessed. I'm obsessed. And my wife is, uh, I think, crazier than me, and that's why it works. So they want to hear the story. How did you guys do it? Yeah, and, it, and it's Love a quick story, but I'll just tell you this. It'll, it's a game changer, and I always say you learn from other people. That's how you do it. Yeah. And, and by the way, you know, like I said, my mentors in life are people that have gone where I want to go. As I see somebody doing something, I say, hey, man, how'd you do it? That's all I want to know. How'd you do it? And then what I do is that I take what they did, I steal it, I use it in my life, and bam, lights out. So I want to say this too. Also, if you want, Sean has a weekly coaching that's killer, and you can get into that coaching that's with me, with the twins, yep. and with Sean. Um, I think you get your first uh, month for a dollar. For a dollar. For a dollar. Your first month for a dollar. You shoot him a text, say, hey, man, send me that dollar link to the, to the monthly mastermind, and he'll send it over to you. And after that, I think it's 99 bucks a month. It's 99 bucks a month. And you and get, like, 12 yeah. coachings a month. You mm -hmm. get the role play app for free. You get 20% off on disc. You get all this crazy stuff, but you can get in the first month for $1. Yeah. It's, it's nuts. But he's got a special link to it. And, and that's you get all the recordings, too, the past. The, we're 16 weeks into the membership. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, Wild Wednesday is called and dubbed Savagery Academy, mm -hmm. the automotive mindset. And it's taken off. I remember when we first started, we had about 15 people on it. And now we've, we sell out. I mean, the Zoom rooms had, what, tripled in size now? Yeah. Quadruple? Yeah, yeah, it's we crazy. We had a different size Zoom room. And I don't know how many are in there, hundreds now. But everybody reaches out, like, what made you go on this mission? I was tired of being broke, man. Yeah, I was there's tired actually of going ups and downs. There's and actually and thousands in there. No, on the rooms, yeah. Yeah, but he don't pay attention. He's no, just, just he's, so he's, many questions. He's so, he's so zoned. Well, he's so zoned in, and he loves his people so much. I, I see the numbers. Yeah, and he uh, he's just so jacked up. And by the way, I teach you skill on Monday. He teaches mindset on Wednesday, and the twins teach branding on Tuesday. Yeah. I mean, for freaking a dollar? Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it'll it'll, change, it'll change the game for you. Yeah, it's a, it's a life changer. But anyways, with that being said, guys, this is podcast number five. This is how to beat mediocrity. I want to tell you it's one of the most important things that you could do as a salesperson is to stay the heck away from anything that's average. If you want greatness – you got to be willing to live a, a crazy life, mm -hmm. live dangerously. You have to unlock the monster. Yeah, unlock the monster. You know what I mean? Not be afraid of anything. Everything you want in life is on the other side of fear and the other side of being uncomfortable. Guys, stay relentless. We love you, Sean Pollard. Thank you, brother. Love you all. Appreciate you. Later on, we'll be able to see his bicep again. You know what I'm saying? Hey, guys, we'll see you. Unlock. Peace out. All I ever had to do was go 